Hello everybody, welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. Not your normal view most of the time, huh? Well, you can see my Smallville back there and all my stuff, but that's my upstairs. And the electric's gonna be redone here pretty soon because um, I'm upgrading my house. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at something very interesting. I went to Goodwill, my wife texted me a picture. I was at work, yes, she texted me at work. And she said, hey honey, you should look at this. So there was three, there were three, was, there was three, oh my good lord. I'm sounding like a country bumpkin now. There were three computers there. They were all iMacs, and one of them, the one that I bought, was a 1419. An A1419 is the one I have from 2013. It has um, 32 gig of RAM, a three terabyte hard drive, I believe it's a hybrid, so it has like a, a part of it that's like SSD speeds and the rest is standard. And it's fast. Oh my goodness, so fast. It has an i7 in it. So we're going to switch over the camera and uh, we're going to look at this. Oh, maybe I can't switch over the camera. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, and we're back. And so these are the specs of this computer. Now you will notice that this is a Mac, an iMac running Linux Mint. Now, I really want to get into this a little bit because it's important. I purchased this for 160 bucks, and here's what I can tell you about it. So, the the actual um, computer is a, it's an iMac uh, 1419 from 2013. It has 32 gig of RAM. Y'all saw the specs because I showed you on the video. And so, we're just going to do a really old, a different view today. And so the, um, what happened was the, when I bought this, I wasn't sure if it even worked. Like I, I had no idea what it was going to be. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if it was going to run, if it was going to be a piece of crap. I didn't know. But I knew if it had that Apple symbol on it from that year, I knew that it had a chance of being very good. So I took a chance for $160. And I brought it home with me. The first thing I did was use Mac for about two hours, two, three hours. And I said, you know what? I wonder if this computer will run Linux Mint. And as y'all can see, yes, it runs Linux Mint flawlessly. And it runs Arch flawlessly. And it ran um, Ubuntu flawlessly. It ran, there was like four or five of them I tried. And every one of them did perfect. Fedora, it ran Fedora really well. But Mint seems to be the most, the best one for this. It seems to be the most, the most well-rounded. It seems, because as y'all know, Linux Mint is my favorite one. And so basically what happened was I, I ended up buying that one, but they had another one that I thought about getting, but it was a little more money. And I said, you know what, if, if this one pans out, maybe I'll go get the other one. I don't know. So that's what I did. I don't need any more computers I have. One sitting back here, there's one here, there's one here, right there. I have another motherboard over there, right there. Y'all can see I have a motherboard that I got at the yard at a, at um, the flea market for 10 bucks. And then there's all of my stuff. Video coming on, not, not the dryer, but the probably the washing machine too. I'm probably going to do a video on the washing machine too that I bought because we needed a new one because ours was making all kinds of god-awful racket. So that's what this video is about. And and so here I'm going to give you my thoughts on kind of what I think about these things. Now I'm hesitant sometimes to buy certain things like this because I don't, sorry about my hair y'all, it's all jacked up. Um, I'm hesitant to buy things like this because of knowing computers the way I do, knowing, and I know them pretty well, I know a lot about them, and so I know that Macs typically have a really long life, they have a very, very long life most of the time, like beyond what a normal PC will do, and so I knew that when I bought it, the screen quality, I can't even put it into words how good it is. It looks, oh, it's so sharp, my goodness. There's like no pixelation or anything. It's freaking incredible. And so I knew going into this that there were one or two things that were going to happen. I was going to either love it or hate it. And so for 160 bucks, I could have taken the, the I could have, if I didn't like it, I could have taken it back. My wife would have bought clothes and sold them for hundreds of dollars. So either way, I would have come out ahead. 
This way, now y'all know that I've been making videos on Docker, right? Y'all know that. So I've made two already and I'm working on the third and fourth one now. Now there, it's, it's taking me a little bit longer than what I thought because of all the things that are involved and me having to learn Docker from scratch. Like I've only been learning it for like three days and I still don't know nothing. Like it, it is so involved, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm slowly starting to understand how it works and, and getting to the place where I'm, I'm about ready to make my video. Well, the third one anyway. I wanted to make this one first because this PC or Mac will be the one that I actually do all of the Docker stuff on. So that's what I bought it for. So I have my main machine over here that I do editing. Wait, where is it? Down there. I, ha I do use that machine. Sorry, I got a freaking crap mess down there. It's, it's horrible. Um, so I've got that PC that I do editing on. This one, the Mac here, will be used for... Um, for Docker, any kind of development or videos that I want to do outside of the normal stuff, that's what will be done on this one. And I'm going to try to figure it, see if I can do like recordings on here and, and plug a uh, focus right into it. Where, where did that focus? Right here. Focus right. One of my absolute favorite devices of all time. It is most of my videos are made with this one right here that one right there that that one has made most of my videos every video for like the last year and a half has been with that microphone adapter i love that thing it's so reliable so that's kind of what i wanted to do now mind you most macs last a long time like i've said before they do last a long time and i knew that if i used it i couldn't use an arm based but I knew that I could use one with an Intel chip in it. So I knew that this one would work because I knew the 2013s, 20, they started doing them in like, I think it was 2020, they started making the, the ARM-based chips. So I knew if I stayed away from those and stayed with the earlier stuff, I could get away with it. And let me tell you, the installation was flawless. Now, I'm going to show you all something. Disclaimer, my buddy Damien gave me this for free to test. I used this flash drive for every OS I installed. I installed Elementary, Ubuntu, Zarin, um, <laughs> this Linux Mint, I installed off of this drive. You, I believe his uh, website, I'll put it in the, in the comment in the description, but I think it's usbdrives.com, and I'm telling you, he makes excellent stuff. Go check him out, please, for the love of God, whatever you do, go check him out. So that flash drive did every installation and it was flawless. I mean flawless. It took maybe five minutes for each install. And this, this computer being a USB 2.0, it was a little slower, but that's okay. And so I really want y'all to understand kind of how this works. So I, I installed, you have to hold down when you're booting up. Now, now hear me, do a restart on the computer, on the Mac. And as it's rebooting, hold the option key down. That will give you other boot options, right? So you hold that down, it'll give you other boot options. And, and so you can see all the stuff attached to the system. You can see the hard drive. You can see the flash drives. Anything attached to it, you'll be able to see it in there. And so I did that. Oh, yeah, look at all my stuff. I got some cool stuff here at my house. I have all the cool stuff here. <clears throat> and so... Including my computers. My computers are the coolest though. And my boys, they're here too. Somewhere. And so there it I knew that it was going to be interesting because I didn't really understand that I didn't know that it would work. That was the problem. I I had no idea. Sorry y'all. I had no idea that it would work. But turns out when I here, let me put y'all. There we go. We're gonna put y'all right there. So I had no idea that it was gonna work, right? So I, I ended up um I ended up just trying it. So I did, I searched up on the internet a few videos of what, what people were doing. And what I found was that most of the time, let me move this out of the way. There's my coffee. I knew going into it, it was either going to work or it wasn't going to work. And so I decided to take a try. I watched, looked up a few videos on YouTube and started researching it. And they're like, yeah, you can do it. So I, I ended up holding down the option key. That's what I ended up finding. I held down the option key and everything just worked. 
And so I was like, okay, well now that this is working, what do I do now? So I ended up installing, I forget which one I installed first. I installed elementary OS to it. They all installed flawlessly off of that flash drive I just showed you. So after all that's said and done and it's running, it runs incredibly fast. Like there is no issues with lag, no issues with speed. It, it looks incredible. Like I'm telling you, it looks amazing. I wish y'all could see this in person. It looks so good. I'm not even sure what the, let me see what the um, display settings, it is running at 2560 at 1440 is what it's running at. And it looks freaking incredible. I'm not even kidding. It looks so good. This is the 27 inch model. And I've wanted one of these for a really long time. And when I found it for that price, I was like, I can't turn it down. Shout out to my boy Damien, whom, who told me to do a video. And I was already working on it. I was thinking about doing one. But he kind of pushed me over the edge and said, do it. So I said, okay, I'll do it. And so remember, this is a 1419 an A1419 from 2013. So if you find one of those, I would highly recommend you take a look at it and buy it if you can, if it's cheap enough. I wouldn't pay more than $300 for it, but it's worth it. It's worth way more than what I paid for it. And so the other, other thing you can look out for is, is there are certain, there's a guy on YouTube named Luke Miani. I want y'all to go check his channel out. I'll leave a link to his, channel in the description luke does videos on nothing but apple he did i believe a video on this specific one and he put in a separate a different motherboard in it or some crap and modified it i'll see if i can find it and i'll link it if i can find it but in that video he shows you how to go in and take the glass off and because it, it's look as you can see like it's it's like all one piece like right here's where it comes off. This is where it meets the, right there. But it, he couldn't, you have to take, you have to um, heat, heat it up and pull it off a suction cup. So that's what he did. He's got a great, he makes excellent videos on Mac, on Apple. Anything Apple, he's the one I go to. So that's kind of what I found out. Make sure you take a sip of coffee at eight o'clock at night or whatever time it is. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. And so, if you are looking to do this now with the end of window with windows being very stupid and being and microsoft doing stuff that they shouldn't do now the crowd strike thing wasn't their fault although if their operating system would have been better it probably wouldn't have happened the way it happened and so that i kind of blame them but i blame i blame crowd strike no right fridays read only bro read only Always remember, read only. Friday is read only. Do not write anything. Read only, bro, so you don't get called on the weekend. And trust me, it's happened to me before. So I, my general rule of thumb now is no write, no write Friday. I'll write every day of the week, but that one. And so that's that was their mistake. So with the advent of problems like this and all the other issues we've seen, my buddy Damien's done a bunch of videos on on like Copilot and a bunch of st other stuff that he's done. I'll just link his whole channel in the description because he, he deserves some views, man. He's an incredible dude and he's an incredible tech guy. Incredible. Very, very smart. And so I think that you y'all would benefit from going to watch his videos. He, he does an incredible job. I'm talking, man. He does some good work. And I'm very proud of him. He's come a long ways. So I've seen him go to almost 8,000 subscribers it's been awesome but he does uh, he's done a lot of videos on windows and the new stuff that's coming out where they're spying on you stuff like that so and he did a video on how to turn it off but the fact that it's not off by default is my problem with it and so i i started looking for alternatives a while back and cinnamon linux mint cinnamon is my favorite one so far um i am if i could ever get to the point where i could play Call of Duty Warzone on Linux, I would abandon Windows forever. I would never go back. I have no desire. I hate Microsoft. I hate everything they do. I hate how complicated some things are to do. Windows 11 was supposed to be user-friendly, and it is not. My boy Damien just did a video on that. And so I, I, I just, at this point, 
I was looking for something different. And so I found this Mac and I'm like, what if I was, I can't, I was keeping my, my mind open and my eyes open. And when my wife sent me that, I was like, yeah, I, I've got to do this. I cannot, I can't prolong it anymore. I have to, I have to move forward. So Linux is built for Docker anyway. So it, it's actually a really good fit. And that's the reason I got the Mac. That's the reason I did all this. So if you are struggling to find something that suits you, I, I would highly recommend Zorin OS, which is Linux, it's Linux Mint, which is another good one. And there's there's bunches of others, but those two I think are the most are probably the most simple. If you're looking for a Mac like, lean toward elementary OS, as it's it's a very good system for that. Zorin is really good too. Very good system. So that's what I'm kind of saying, y'all. If you're if you're looking for a system that is not Windows and something that's kind of user friendly, I would highly recommend Linux Mint. It is a great OS, and I highly I love it. It's a great one. It's the one I go to every time, and it's got a cool background too. So, well, anyway, y'all, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I pray right now that you would reach out to me in the comments or reach out to me at CherylTechnologyGML.com, and I will be glad to talk to you. I will be glad to listen, pray with you, or debate with you. Any of those four things, I can do or all of them. It is up to you, and I love each and every one of you. And until my next video, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.